welcome to IceHair's Olog entry for September 2011. First of all, what's an Olog, you say? Well, it's my far more logical name for a video log. I mean, first of all, it's very hard for me at least to pronounce the words starting with the letters V and L. I mean, V... V-log? Vlog? V v Seriously, I'll just give up. Okay, so, I mean, we all know what a blog is, right? That's easy to pronounce and it's short for a weblog. You just take with the start of the word web. And so the logical shorting for a video log would be O-log, right? Okay, anyway, my last newsletter was in July. Now it's late September and there's lots of exciting new stuff going on, so I thought it might be time for an update. First of all, uh, I've been lucky enough to be interviewed about my Let's Playing. Uh, level 100 games, aka Vicious Hammock and Ginger Jobberton, apparently thought my Oblivion experiment was interesting enough to let me rant at length about my gaming. Um, there's a link to the interview on screen now, and um, I certainly thought it was a lot of fun. So, um, yeah, you should uh, basically uh, check out their channels anyway, because uh, those guys are really much more entertaining Let's Players than I am. Uh, yeah, there's also a link in the description field uh, for this video. And, oh, by the way, about that a pacifist experiment in Oblivion, um, yeah, it's still going strong. I still regard it as my main Let's Play. Um, even though I think I said in July that I'd try to upload about one episode per day and it's turned out to be more like one episode every three days or so. Uh, that's not just because I can't really keep up an output of an episode every day, but it's also because, judging from how many views I get in like one or two d or three days, it looks as if many of you, my subscribers, can't really keep up with an episode a day anyway. And believe me, I know the feeling of wanting to keep up with an LP, but having to settle for just watching the latest episode because there's just too much there. So three days seem to be enough for people to keep up, so that's probably about the same rate I'll continue with, unless somebody tells me otherwise. At this rate, however, my editing is now almost two weeks ahead of my uploads, and my recording almost two weeks ahead of that again, so I've actually recorded something I call a preliminary conclusion to the experiment by now. Um, pre preliminary does mean I'm not done recording yet, but it also means I should have some time to do some other stuff, sort of in between, and so I present to you two more games and two new Let's Plays. First, I've uploaded from um, I've uploaded some gameplay from an oldie goldie called Birthright to the Gorgon's Alliance, which I don't think anyone has actually done on YouTube before. Uh, again, there's a link on screen and in the description field. Um, the game's from 1996. It's based on a Dungeons and Dragons role-playing setting, and it's a kind of cross between a turn-based strategy game and a role-playing game, and if you've never heard of it before, that's perfectly okay, because what I've uploaded so far is just a kind of review slash guide slash introduction to the game, so you can sort of sniff it out and decide if it's worth your attention or not. But I'm also considering whether to do a full Let's Play of it, and um, if so, how I should be playing it. Um, so far it's been suggested that I, quote, give the Gorgon a kick in the nads, end quote. Um, the Gorgon being the big, bad, evil boss of the game. Um, now that means a purely diplomatic playstyle is certainly out the window, but there's still a lot of scope for variety. Uh, for example, I have to decide which realm I'm going to play. I could continue with the realm I did in the gameplay videos. Or I could pick one of the other player character realms. I've also got enough patches for the game so that I can actually pick any of the realms, including the NPC ones. So if you want, I could attack the Gorgon with um, the powerful neighboring realm of Moriad. Or I could uh, play as Rove Manslayer. Or I could even play as one of the Gorgon's own dwarven or goblin vassals. Um, which I guess would be in rebellion against him if I uh, play it like that. Uh, I still haven't decided yet, so if any of you have any suggestions for such a Let's Play, I'd be much obliged if you'd leave me a private message or a comment. Uh, in the meantime, while thinking about uh, Birthright, I've actually started a Let's Play of another retro game. Um, this is a Let's Play where I hope to actually be able to make an ending <laughs> one way or another. Because it's just uh, not, 
you know, one of those endless games like uh, Oblivion or Morrowind or like even Birthright can be. Um, this uh, there is again a link on screen and uh, in the description field. And the game I'm talking about is Warlords 2, made by a Strategic Studies Group. Um, I should give Nagadol146 a lot of credit for giving me the necessary nudge to actually start up my own LP of this game. Uh, but just for variety's sake, I'll be doing the deluxe version of Warlords 2 from 1995, not the original 16 color version that he's playing. And finally, while we're all waiting for Skyrim, uh, including me, I sort of wanted to brush up on the Elder Scrolls lore of the Nords. So I've been thinking about Blood Moon, the expansion from Morrowind that has a whole island full of painstakingly realized Bethesda Nords. And I just realized, thinking about that, that when I did my old pacifist experiment in Morrowind, I never even tried the expansions. So there's a link on screen now to the very first episode of my latest series, called Let's Play a Pacifist in Blood Moon. So yeah, you can check that out if you wonder what Nords and Nordlands have been like in past Elder Scrolls games. Yeah, um, that's about it, I think. So uh, go in peace and uh, live and let live.